I love it here. I think it's a great place to grow a family. Coming to this area has been absolutely excellent in terms of affordability for housing prices, uh, good um, schools, um, good transportation. So that has been the main magnet for uh, people coming, as we call the second migration, from the big cities to, uh, to the Quinty region. I think we have the best, uh, the best of everything here. There isn't anything we're lacking. I believe that we have and we can provide any service that people require uh, and, and we'll work hard to maintain that service to improve the quality of life. Let's begin with the beautiful landscape, uh, water all around us and uh, farming communities, small town. So there's a great variety uh, there's a great variety here. We have so much. We, we have heritage, we have cultural, we have wineries, we have fantastic uh, world precedent beaches, we have uh, food uh, um, restaurants, you know, that are, are comparable to those in the uh, upper echelons of the city of Toronto and Ottawa and Montreal. You know, you're, you're two and a half hours from Toronto, two and a half hours from Ottawa, three and a half hours from, from Montreal, so you're in the middle of that triangle. Um, it's so, it's, it's, to, it, it's a county without to be the county because you're close to big cities, but also I think like, uh, uh, it's become a little bit fashionable. For me, everything is new, like every day I explore and then learn something new about the culture, about the area, and about myself too. And uh, I feel like, you know, this place really got me to do the things that I never thought I would do and I like I experienced what I experienced and the people that I've met I really I am really really grateful. And the other component of immigration it brings the word culture together and it brings community together and it brings family together and actually that's how our municipality and all municipalities were started with the immigration with the family and the culture and now basically this is taking it to the next level. For anyone coming here determined to succeed and determined to work hard, uh, this is the place to be. I've always been a countryside person. Uh, uh, I mean, people of cities, people like so. I, I mean, I like cities, but I, I see myself more living in the countryside, first of all. And you drive 10 minutes and you can be in sandbanks and enjoy a nice, you know, swim in a beautiful lake. I mean, it, it's something different that you would probably won't find anywhere else. Here in Belleville, I. I really enjoy when, because you go to the supermarket, you go to the church, you go to the school, and everywhere, everywhere is just a five or ten minutes apart, you know, the distance. And, and for children, it's, for me, I think it's much better. This community is, is really kind, uh, people are really caring, and uh, always take the time to stop and say hi and look at you and make that connection with you. I find that, you know, once you get into a really good English environment, your English actually improves really fast. And uh, it's all up to you, you know, like if you're willing to practice, you're willing to, you know, get involved in this culture, it is really easy to pick that. Everything was so accessible here. I could uh, walk into most of the offices and get the information that I needed, uh, be it in an employment services or in ESL. My wife used to take ESL lessons here for three, four years. Um, so every, every government program that I went to, I found that I didn't have to kind of um, um, wait in line or, or rush through, like kind of wait my turn per se. Um, there was always somebody available to talk to. What we try to do is to provide the best of the information we have and also uh, guide them to the processes that they will have to face in terms of finding housing, uh, school for the kids, uh, transportation, jobs, training, and of course language training. The people here are really nice. They're lovely and there's, it's, it's diverse as well. I've got Filipino friends, I've got Cuban friends, I've got expat friends, I've got Canadian friends, I've got American friends. There's just so many people here and it's diverse. So we 
invite anyone who would like to contribute their gifts and their talents to come and live here. And don't let the snow frighten you because the snow keeps us resilient as Canadians and keeps us hoping for spring and keeps saying to us, you know what, you can shovel all the barriers away.